I missed. I missed. I missed an open layup. I missed an open layup. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's that is the creme brulee of the game. I missed a wide open layup. That's all I needed to see. That's all I needed to see. I did it again. I did it again. I did it again. Two open layups. There is no reason I missed those layups. Hero. I freaking I can't. 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 You can't be serious. You can't be serious. All right, let's talk about Victor Webinyama. Coming into this season, he may not have been quite as hyped as MP, but he was getting just as much talk about being generational. Now, he's still on that track. Not that you need any reminding, but he is still seven foot three. He still dribbles like a guard. He still shoots like one. He can do things that nobody at his size should be able to do, and he has a chance to revolutionize the game. So, what's the problem? Well, the simple fact of the matter is that MP has outperformed him, and it's not particularly close. As great as Vic is, MP is better, point blank. Could these guys switch places one day? Absolutely. But as it stands right now, MP is the better player, and if you don't agree with me, well, I don't think we're watching the same sport. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. And if you double curry with the big, ball's out and they're set up for the DHO. So I shouldn't expect a lot of help. This is gonna be a workout. Mm -hmm. As good as he is with the rock, he's better without it. He'll cut, loop, backdoor, slide, just waiting for you to make a mistake. And then he's alone with the easy tray. Can't relax. And you gotta make him work just as hard on the other end. Watch this. You see that? Look how he's weaving through the defense. Outperform Steph Curry and teammate grade and win the game. So, are these position rivals going to be the same exact uh, goals? Because that sucked. It would make sense if it was like outscore Steph Curry, out assist him, shoot more threes than him. That would make sense. But it looks like it's going to be the same thing. Anyways, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this 2K24 My Career. And we are currently on a. Is there a NBA standings? We're currently on a 21 game win streak. Yeah. A lot of those games are simulated. I did not win all those games. Um, so, the simulation is awful in this game because we should not be winning that many games in a row. Um, the last game we lost was all the way back in... Jesus Christ. Uh, this Hawks game I played on my own. We ended up losing. Then after that, um, I played the Spurs game. I played the Pacers game right here. And that's it. I only played those two games and the rest was all simulated and we just blew them out every single time. And as you can see, Gerald Johnson is averaging 27.5 points, 2.5 rebounds, 15.5 assists, about a steal game on 60% from the field, and an abysmal 22% from the three-point line. It's a lot higher than 4%. But we are going up against Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors, who do not have Draymond Green, or Kevon Looney, or Jonathan Kuminga. So that's great. And apparently Chris Paul is going to start in real life. He won't be starting in this game. Uh, but he will start in real life, so that will be interesting. But going against Chris Steph Curry is 35, bro. I'm old. 35. Clay's 33. Wiggins is only still 28. That's kind of crazy. I feel like he should be in his 30s. But going against this, this team, Curry averaging 33 points a game on 50, 40, 90. Should be a tough one. Here we are in Chase Center for this matchup against the Miami Heat and the Golden State Warriors. Curry versus Johnson, first matchup of the season. And I am trying, um, as you know, I started with the no jump shot meter last episode. But I am trying with the um, shot timing cue. I have it set to, I think, it's release point or something. So when the ball is literally at the top of its release... That when you're supposed to release it. So I'm going to try that. See if that makes um, any difference. But going up against Curry in this matchup. Let's see if I can get anything going on offense in this game. Curry is not an awful defender. As you can see, he's not biting on any of my pump fakes. I set the screen for Jimmy. And he's going to pull up for the midi and get it. The biggest um, challenge tonight will be guarding Steph Curry. All right, I'm fine with our offense. Sometimes it's guarding. Oh, especially since they don't have Looney. Bam's just going to eat. 
as he misses that dunk, that's fantastic, but we get the ball back. Guarding Steph Curry is going to be the biggest issue, without a doubt, there, 18 and 11, um, because, as you know, not a great defender here. Um, I'm not going to be able to cut into the paint like I usually do. Not a great defender, and uh, Steph Curry is the greatest shooter of all time. Uh, bam, we're starting off real slow, getting guarded by Dario freaking Sarich. I've got a measly one point. Let's see if I can change that. Oh, bam, easy in the paint. Ooh, that's going to be a tough layup, but I get it to go. Gary Payton was there. He kind of looked like Draymond, I won't lie, but I don't have a point on the board. Now I've got three. Oh, my God, Curry's ankle's broken. Jimmy, finish the pay, please. Play, 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 play. Finish the play, please, because I can't. Oh, Curry goes down. We got to look at this crossover again. Curry, yoink. Curry goes flying. That's got to be the thumbnail. Curry, nowhere to be found. It wasn't even an amazing dribble move. It was just a between the legs, and Curry's lost. We're off to an explosive start as the Warriors call a timeout. I'm probably getting subbed out. 19 to 9. Curry's 1 for 5. Thompson, I think, is 2 for 7. And Gerald Johnson is going to get subbed out like I expected. Let's see if the 2K curse of the bench blow in the lead. Yup, of course. Up by 10, down by 3. I knew it was coming. Yeah, bro. Whenever our bench comes in the game, we get cooked. Every time. This team has half their rotation injured. And we're still... There ain't no way that goes in. And we're still getting cooked. Down by 8, dude. This is just bad, dude. Like, I shouldn't be playing with these guys. I should be playing... I mean, Jimmy or Bam should be playing with them. Not me, because I'm not going to help whatsoever as I get a layup to go, because... This is just bad. Bro, I swear to you, these key games are set up for you to lose. There ain't no way that goes in. These key games are set up for you to lose. Because there is no reason we should have just completely lost the lead going into that second quarter. We had a 10-point lead, and we just lost it. Bam, can you not be on the same side of the court I am, please? Go somewhere else. Cur like, I had Curry locked up, and now he's got 18. Like, this is ridiculous. I had him locked up, and now he's straight cooking. And I can't, like, look how closely they guard you. Look at him guarding me! Like, you, 2K, you can't be serious with this defensive AI. What am I? I am 0 of 0 from 3 and 3 of 7 from the field. And he's full pressing me at half court. You, you can't expect us people to do anything or enjoy playing the game if it's played like that. You can't hit free throws. That, that's impossible to do in this game. Uh, you get guarded at half court, full press, every time you bring up the ball. doesn't matter what percentage you're shooting. Your bench loses you the lead every single time. I did not have that issue last year where I get subbed out and I come back in and all of a sudden the bench blew the game. Like, we were up 19-9. to And the second I got subbed out, the bench just blew the game. And just players on the other team just hitting contested shots. It's just irritating. I don't know why they just changed everything. The only positive they made is that your teammates actually hit shots. That's the only positive. Like, they could have literally kept the gameplay from last year. Made it a little bit more difficult. Because I will admit, Hall of Fame last year was too easy. And there you go. You have a good game. There was nothing wrong with the gameplay last year. That I knew of. Nothing wrong with it. And of course, Darius Sarge, it's the offense rebound. Nothing wrong with it. I didn't have any problem with the offline gameplay. Park, I couldn't care less about Park. The gameplay last year, I got used to the shooting. The reason why I had an issue with the shooting was because I didn't play 2K22. So I, it took me a while to get used to the shooting. Shooting was fine. Shooting was great. I don't know why they touched it. The same thing with the badges. The badge system is the worst thing I've ever seen in a video game. Like, they touch things that don't need to be touched. And it just ends up ruining the game. It ends up ruining it. Um, Kevin, why are you cutting to the paint, Kevin? Why are you... Jimmy! What are you... You guys are leading your defender to me! What are you doing? This is the AI. AI is so stupid. So why are they leading their defender to me? Like, why? No reason. Just, I hit ISO. That means get the hell away from me. Bam, why would you want to set the screen on the other side of the court? Bam, please, just score the ball. Nope, of course not. And no foul. What are we doing? What, what, Tyler, what is the plan here? This is why I don't give my teammates the ball to ISO or do anything with it. Great screen. Great screen! Oh my god, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 screen! 
by Kevin Love. Oh my god, he doesn't even touch him. And then Kevin Love. I I can't. I can't with Kevin Love on this team. He is so goddamn awful. He is so bad at basketball. It's hilarious. Hilarious. He can't set a simple screen. He can't defend Andrew Wiggins, a small forward. What are you doing on this team then? You can't hit a shot. And they sub me out. I got it back to six. Can, can we do something? A four-point game. I will take it. The only downside is I'm playing with the bench now. And we all... I, I hit L1. I want that to be known. I hit L1. And it didn't register. But... Okay, I got fouled. I was about to say. Look at, look at Chris Paul. Look at Chris Paul. He's at half court waiting for me. He's at half court waiting for me. Does do, do 2K... What did they think? No one sees a problem with that. How am I supposed to enjoy playing this game if that's what I have to deal with? I, look at this! Duncan, please shoot it. You took way too long and you missed. Great. Oh my god. Down by six. We're not winning this game. So, hold on. 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 I get by. I have the speed. I get by Curry here. Where does he find the speed to do just get in front of me? And get Where does he find that? Why do I stop there? Why do I stop there and go for a layup? 2k instead of keep going full speed and either dunk it or why do i stop there and it forces me to miss why there's no way i would have understood because it's steph curry but there is just no way look i haven't beat again i haven't beat again i haven't beat again i finally made it we cut it to four can we like bring in our start why is kevin love the only one at the scorer's table why is kevin love the only one at the scorer's table why is jimmy butler not there why is Tyler Hero not there? Kevin Love, that, that, that's who we're bringing in to help us try and get this lead. Okay. And Chris Paul, he's going to hit that right now. Wow, we missed. Please get the rebound. Thank you. That's number seven. That's probably a career high. They're, they're all clogging the paint. Like, they're clogging the paint. I can't... Oh, my Lord. Bam. There we go. Two-point game. Are they going to call a timeout? They don't. They subbed me out. They subbed me out. We're down by four. They subbed me out. We're down by two. What was the reason? There was no reason, 2K. There was no reason. Oh, my God. There, there wasn't. Why did they do that? Down by two. Why did they do that? You subbed me out for 40 seconds. I missed. I missed. I missed an open layup. I missed an open layup. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's, that is the creme brulee of the game. I missed a wide open layup. That ain't not contested, nothing. Open, miss. Don't you dare. Wide open and just completely whiffed it. There it is. That's all I needed to see. That's all I needed to see. I did it again. I did it again. I did it again. Two open layups. I don't want to hear that was contested. Clay was not there for long enough for me to contest that. That is actual bull. There is no reason I missed those layups. Hero. I freaking I can't, 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 you can't be serious, you can't be serious, you can't be serious, and then Curry gets, what is happening, Curry, that's game, yep, that's game, that's game, I can't express how frustrated I am, I can't, I seriously can't after those, those three plays, we had six points there, and 2K said, no the hell you don't, 2K said, no, the hell you don't. Tyler Hero, do you not know what a play is? Do you not know how to run it? Do, can we do something with the basketball? That. Oh, my Lord. That's it. We lost. These are going to be the only points we score since four minutes. And I blame it on 2K. I don't even blame I blame it on 2K. I missed two wide open layups. And Tyler Hero reverse dunked it and got blocked. Reverse dunked it and got his ass blocked. Those are the two reasons why, th three reasons why we lost that game in that full quarter. Don't make me start with the others. Curry at 36. I held him. He was not shooting good. Didn't matter though because Clay Thompson went off, left him wide open on every play. Wiggins had 11. Moody didn't miss. Sarge had 8, 8, and 4. And hey, what? Me with 38 and 16. Didn't even shoot that bad. All those misses are those wide open layups. I was above 50%. Bam did okay. Jimmy did okay. Nothing else. One of 10. One, one of 10. 
One of ten. That's it. That's all I need to say. That's all you need to see.